Hello everyone, I'm Em, welcome to Tech Block. Today we are going to be doing a video of me painting my room. Now this is kind of like not related to technology at all, but it is related to my room and my setup and my whole kind of channel revolves around my room and setup. So um, here's my setup at the moment. You, you may be wondering, uh, it's kind of like away from the wall. Uh, that's because I'm about to paint this entire wall right here. Uh, so I've painted like this corner of my room uh, and I've picked up like some white paint and I've basically painted this whole corner of my room in white. I think this corner needs a little bit more work here, so I'll probably put one more like layer of paint over here. But apart from that, I'm very happy with the results so far. In all of my videos in the past, you've probably noticed that there's been like a hint of yellow in all my walls. And personally, I think that looks really, really bad. And especially when like my setup's kind of like black, white and like RGB, you don't really want like yellow walls really, you know? Uh, so I've decided today I'm going to be painting my walls uh, white as I've been wanting to do this for a long, long time. So I'm finally getting around to doing it. I went to Wix, as I said earlier, I picked up some white paint. This is my first time ever painting uh, walls or anything really. So, um, so far it's gone pretty well. I watched a tutorial on YouTube that I'll link down below in case anyone else also wants to paint their room. Anyway, I want to show you like the back of my setup here as this will probably be like the first and last time you ever see the back of my setup as I can't remember the last time I moved my desk away from the wall. So uh, take a look at this. Over here, we have some LED strips. Also, I, I need to make sure I don't step in paint. Let's go to this corner of the room as there's no paint on the wall yet. Uh, so we can begin here. Here is my PC, the back of my PC and the back of my desk as well. You can see how like my LED strips are laid out and how I've cable managed everything. So um, everything pretty much goes from the corner of my room over there and it goes through a cable trunking kit, which is right there. And then up the corner of my table leg here and half of the cables go into my PC and the other half of the cables power my monitors and various other devices that are on my desk, which I've discussed in the past. So I've got this cheap Magic Hue LED strip that I'll link down below as well. Once again, as always, everything will be linked in the description down below. So if you like anything that you see, including the paint, I'll try to link everything I've bought, including like the masking tape and stuff that I'm using, the like rollers that I bought as well. Even though I bought them on Wix, I'll link similar ones on Amazon if any of you also want to paint your room. And if you do have like yellowy walls like I did here, definitely consider painting your room. It is very tiring, I'll tell you that. Maybe I'm doing something wrong, but god damn, this is super, super tiring. But the end result will be worth it. And that's all that matters. So you can kind of see like where I, where I stopped painting here. And for a first attempt, I think this looks pretty good. But yeah, let's cover the rest of my setup right here, I suppose. So in one of my previous videos, I reviewed the Minga Bluetooth LED strips that are like made to be reactive to music and stuff. Uh, but I've sent the company an email, so hopefully they can improve the app and hopefully add some more features to the LED strip as it does have a lot of potential. It's just that the features on the app are very limited. But nevertheless, I did end up using the LED strip in the end, but I'm just using them temporarily as monitor backlighting. They won't be here for very long. I've actually contacted another company. They're gonna send me over some more LED strips. So they're gonna be Magic Hue LED strips. They won't have any fancy music like reactive modes, but I will be able to control them via my Amazon Echo and stuff. So yeah, I'll probably make like an upcoming vlog explaining like my plans for the setup and I will need a lot of your feedback as well. This is kind of like a mini little update on like what's going on with my setup and stuff. Yeah, so here are the LED strips behind my monitor and then there's also the LED strip going like behind my entire desk. Here's a sick angle of my PC right here. We got a bunch of like cables here, uh, somewhat neatly cable managed. I'm looking at getting a new webcam because I've looked into a Logitech Bryo camera, I think that's what it's called. And it has Windows Hello, which is kind of like Face ID that you have on your iPhone X but for your PC. So let's roll the montage of me painting my room. I will be painting it throughout two days. So I'm gonna paint this half of the room first, then tomorrow, which will be the 31st of May, I'll paint the other side of the room as I'll have to move my cupboard, I'll have to move my bed, and it'll just be like a lengthy process uh, to say the least. But today we're painting this corner of my room here as there are some horrible marks all over the wall here as this room has not been painted for many, many, many years, I think. So I'm gonna put the camera down, set up a montage, and I'll update you once I'm done painting everything.
Right, so it's day two of painting the tech block room. We got this whole corner done at the start of the day yesterday. And then I stayed up till 1 a.m. last night painting this whole corner of the room here. I got pretty much everything here done now. So this whole like wall here is painted. I've began painting this corner now. And uh, the plan for, for today is to paint pretty much the rest of the room. Uh, so I'm gonna be moving the bed. I'm gonna be painting this wall because there's a bunch of like stuff on the wall there. I'm not sure if you can really see it on camera, but the walls have not been painted for a long, long time. So uh, yeah, that's kind of a little update on how things are going. We're making progress. I'm not entirely sure if I actually have enough paint. I bought five liters. I don't know if I've been using too much or too little. I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just like trying to paint the walls as best as I can. So, um, so let's continue on with the montage. Another update on how things are coming along with the painting of my room. So at the moment, things are looking very, very nice. I'm very happy with the results so far. I've only got like this part of the room here to paint, which I can show you if I flip the camera around. So that, there's only this part of the wall left to paint. Uh, but apart from that, I've painted pretty much everywhere else, including uh, these little bits here as well. So I ended up just painting these this morning as well as last night, mainly because they were kind of like yellowy as well and uh, they did have like some scuffs and marks all over them. So I thought to myself like, I've painted all the walls already. I may as well just like add some finishing touches, I guess, and paint these as well. So that's what I did last night and this morning. And you can even see there's some masking tape. Uh, this is where I painted this morning. I painted like from here all the way to like far away over there. So that I painted like this entire corner of the room here. And uh, it looks very, very nice, very happy with the results. All of the LED lights in my room now look very, very good. There's no yellow walls anymore, which I'm very happy about. Uh, so that's honestly about it. There also used to be like this wooden thing above my window there. I've since removed it and there's also like these two little bits here. I ended up painting them white just so they kind of blend in because they were like a wood color. And I'm like, I can't remove them without like breaking something. Uh, so I'm just going to paint them white as well. So they kind of blend in and overall, very, very happy with the way everything turned out. I will be adding more white to my setup as well. More of the color white will be incorporated into my setup as mainly at the moment, it's kind of just like black and then loads of RGB. And people criticize my case as well now and again saying like, why did you get a, a white case when the rest of your setup is black? So yeah, the case kind of doesn't make sense, I suppose, but I will be adding more of the color white into my setup and I'll show you exactly what I'll be adding in an upcoming video, that'll be like my plans for the gaming setup and stuff. But apart from that, I think I'm going to be ending the video here. There's still a bit more to paint there, but I don't think you guys are interested in seeing like me painting that wall there. Uh, but the room looks amazing. I'm very happy that I did paint my room. If you also want to repaint your room, uh, check out the links in the description down below for the paint that I used, or the brushes, the rollers, the blue masking tape. Everything is linked down below. So thank you very much for watching this video. And I hope to see you in another one soon. Goodbye.